Hello guys, and welcome to Regiments. Regiments is a game that I've been keeping an eye on for a while now. I really enjoyed the playtest, so I'm happy to be able to bring you guys this early preview. A big thanks to developers, of course, for providing a key and the early access. For those of you unfamiliar, Regiments is a single-player real-time strategy game based on the Cold War Gone Hot scenario and comes out on August 16th, so not long. Today, though, I'm going to be taking a look at the first operation, so let's jump on in. Please bear in mind that everything you are going to see is work in progress as the developers are still polishing a few things. There is a little introduction, so we'll go ahead and read that. June 30th. First front-wide ceasefire in almost a month of bitter and chaotic fighting. A breath of respite for the mauled regiments and brigades on both sides of the former Iron Curtain. Germany, divided into East and West, was always a focal point of the global struggle between the Soviet Union and the United States, titans of their corresponding political doctrines. In a sense, it was only natural all hell went loose here once more in less than 60 years. Years had passed since people on both sides of the Berlin Wall sang the same songs and chanted the same chants. Wary, of, wary hopes of a peaceful resolution were in the air. But I guess even Bowie couldn't stop what was coming. But we're still alive. I might as well start to organise tons of notes, records and reports we've amassed over the past month. There's very little I can do to stop the unfolding events, but at least there's a hope of understanding them. It all started with a skirmish not that far from the border. Here we are with the Dissonance Operation. Rogue elements of 4th MSD have carved out a nest around Eisenach and are now gathering forces. Empowered by the state of emergency, the 7th Panzer Division is tasked to root out the rebels. 3rd to the 4th of June 1989, our unit is the 16th Panzer Regiment. The parent unit is the 7th Panzer Division. Colonel, we have just received new orders. The goal of our march west is finally clear. The good news is that the rumours about the new war are just that, rumours. We are not going to cross the border into West Germany. The bad news is that the mass strikes across the country got much worse. It's an open revolt now. Most of the 4th Mod Schutzen Division has defected from the chain of command. They took positions northwest of Erfurt, clearing out local Stasi and party presents. The attempts to suppress this news have largely failed, and their example has swayed a lot of those with wavering loyalties. They call themselves the Forces of Freie Deutsche Republik. This situation is unacceptable, and must be immediately resolved before more people fall into this insanity. Their proximity to the critical section of the border presents a grave risk too. Your 16th Panzer Regiment will start the operation right away even as the rest of our 7th Panzer Division is still stuck in traffic jams and unruly crowds. Rally the remaining pockets of Loyalist forces, defeat the mobile groups of 4th MSD, and strike right into the heart of the rebel enclave. The discipline and speed should allow you to overcome the superior numbers. The state of emergency gives you full freedom of action. Spare nothing at destroying the enemy. Our objectives are to rally the local forces, defeat the 4th MSD mobile groups, and destroy the rebel command network. Our time limits are set to two phases to stage one, three phases for stage two, and three phases for stage three. So this basically refers to how many attempts you get to complete the stage uh, before you run out of time. We have advanced rules here, uh, so we can add more time. We can have random events, which will be hidden and selected randomly. Uh, we have bad luck, extra negative event happens, great. Um, high lethality, which increases the damage up to two times. So want to have a little bit of a different type of game. And then you can also mess around with accuracy damage, area damage, suppression, rage, and speed, which is interesting. But we're just going to keep things on the default so that we get the regiments experience that the developers intended. And I'm also going to be playing it on medium difficulty uh, just so that we can experience the campaign uh, in not an easy manner because the AI is actually quite difficult, but you know, a mildly challenging manner, I would say. Go to the battle. 
So now we have this screen. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with regiments, this will be quite confusing initially, but basically uh, we have our units here. So the BRDM2 recon vehicle, we've got some T72M1 tanks, we've got the BTR-70 APCs with riflemen, some with riflemen plus extra AT, which are recoilless rifles. Um, we have the Sunny here, which is a mortar carrier, the Shulker, which is anti-air, the MI-24P, which is an attack helicopter, and we also have some supply trucks. On the right hand side we have two tactical aid which are artillery smoke and heavy artillery which can be called in like off map basically and they will help us out throughout the mission let's just read this though last preparations before hundreds of vehicles were crossed the line of departure the anticipation was palpable in the air we do also have an operation log over here uh, but on this right hand side you can see the three stages so meeting engagement attack and then attack here um, those are what we're going to have to complete and we have two phases to complete the first one three for the second and three for the third uh, in order to get a total victory we need to get all the victory points in each phase uh, the operation log does give us some nice flavor We've got discord not everyone in the fourth msd was easily swayed to the new cause a company worth of troops is still fighting near lauterbach break the encirclement and help them hold out that's our objective for this one. And then we have the Freie Deutsche Republik. I'm having a hard time finding any mention of how this name came to be. Was that a reference to Es Liebe die Freie Deutsche Republik from the proclamation or the Republic of the 1918? Anyway, the Republic was as enigmatic as its name. No central authority, no major leaders. It was more of an idea that spread like wildfire among diverse groups and military formations, along with its simple but memorable heraldry. So these are field reports and correspondence by James A. Goodwin, CIA. Right, we can also spend this operational authority. You can see this up here. We get 150, and we can put that towards a range of things. So we can grab a task force. We can add more deployment points. Deployment points are what are used to buy your troops. And then there's tactical support, which is what you use to buy your off map and tactical aid. And then we have the supplies here as well. So I think what we're going to do is maybe add another group. We could add the Bereich group, which would actually give us actually um, access to SU-17 Napalm pretty cool and we also get some of these hq vehicles which are really really useful for buffing the combat effectiveness of surrounding units uh, so here you can see on the right command oversees the operation of units in close vicinity drastically improving their performance so really really useful especially if you're using like big bunches of tanks uh, so we'll select them and uh, call them in okay and if we upgrade them we actually get access to more t72s there at level two on the right hand side you can see those are T72Ms instead of M1s, but yeah, nice upgrade. Okay, let's go to the events. So events are something that affects the game in some way. You get usually two bad and two good. It, it sometimes depends. In this case, we've got only one bad one um, where air tactical aids are not available. Helicopters are more expensive to deploy. So this would make our MI-24s more expensive and we wouldn't be able to use the SU-17s that we just got. Um, the no special events is just a normal, normal thing that basically means nothing happens. A perfectly normal day of slaughter, as you can see. <laughs> the fictional artillery gives you an extra barrage tactical aid. This is like an extra call-in. And then we have air superiority, which makes aerial tactical aids twice as cheap, which would be quite nice if I had more uh, tactical aid options in the air available. But I think what I'll do for this one is we'll take the divisional artillery because this is a meeting engagement. So we're probably going to end up like meeting some fortifications, like some fortified units. So having extra artillery is probably useful. And then maybe for the next one when we're actually attacking, which again will be like attacking defensive places we can use like air superiority and another third one we can just do like uneventful because by then we'll have way more troops and way more operational authority to use to buff our style as our troops basically so let's select a uh, divisional artillery and we'll jump into battle 
This is Dissonance, Phase 1, Arta back at 6 a.m. New objective received. So our objectives are in the top left. We have the victory points here. So we need to hold Lauterbach West and Lauterbach East for two phases, I assume, in order to get the full points because it's like 25 points per phase. So we're going to want to make sure that we get over there ASAP and help defend it and then hold on to it for two phases. The other thing that we're going to want to do is capture some of these extra locations because what they do is give you operational authority which you can then use to upgrade your forces. Anyway, let's grab our leaders and then we'll grab both of my T-72s. We'll grab the BRDM. Having a recon is super important in this game. Uh, we'll bring in the Sunnies. I'll bring in the Shilkers just in case there's any like aircraft and stuff. And then how much do we have left? We have 75. So I think I'll bring some Riflemen, I think. And we'll do the Riflemen AT because they are basically the same. Plus the recordless rifles. So that'll be useful. Okay, cool. And... Uh, that's everything deployed. So let's unpause on the way. We need to head towards Bishop Florida. So let's start by doing that. I'm going to probably just move up. Maybe through the town would be a good idea. I'm trying to work out the best way to do this. I have no idea what they have. We kind of want to see what we are up against first. This big circle here is the command radius, so that's going to improve the effectiveness of these T-72s if they stay within it. That's the plan there. We also have these mortars. Mortars are really good for dealing with dug-in units. Like, I have played the player test before, so I am familiar with how units work, but I have no idea what's going on with this operation. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some line of sight here if we start moving up. Just need to check my controls. X to change mode is basically to unload your infantry. So I might preemptively unload and then have them kind of move up the tree line here towards Bischofrode. So if I'm, ho I'm holding shift right now, this shows us the like vision range and the range of our weapons. And then if you press C, it gives you like ranges plus line of sight. Okay, we bumped into something there. They are PT-76s, which are... Ooh, that's an HGM coming at us. I don't want to lose my BRDMs. But a good start so far. All right, from an AT are taking a bit of damage. Oh, nice. We got him. Good. Okay. Let's carry on. Be nice if I could see what I need to fire at here. Yeah, we got line of sight. My command units are being partied. The Sarnies to clear out those riflemen. Kind of wish I had a little bit more here because bringing in the supply so that I could repair stuff would be good.
Look at that, some smoke coming in. Let's have a look at our units firing away. Got our men over here. BTRs. Since they are dug in towards us, it would be better for me to move my tank side to side in order to flank. I think we'll take them to the left. I'm unsure about going to the right because there might be more units here. Taking out the riflemen now, we just need to take out the vehicles. So I could probably just charge them because the BTRs can't do anything to our C 72s. Let's have a look. We're just point blanking them now. There we go. Taking care of. Lovely. Right, let's move over to the right, although we might have a good chance to... Oh. It's not good. Pull back. I might napalm these guys. Is that anti-air? Yeah, that's a shulker. Okay. Let's see what these SU-17s do. They come. Well, those are enemy T-72s. That's why they're doing so much damage. We're going to retreat my riflemen. So the napalm's doing a decent chunk of damage. Like the napalm plus the mortar, right? Sl slowly heating up the T-72s. More shots, we'll finish them off. So we just retreated our BTR-70s. I am going to want more infantry, so I'm probably going to bring them back in. It looks like we've done a good job cleaning those out. I get my BRDM to move forwards now. Get my HQ to move up. That should be following my T-72s, really. Now we should be shooting that as well. Seems to be some sort of uh, major gem. I might be just being like a recoilless rifle or something. Yeah, they got some recoilless rifles. You can actually take away the HUD by pressing I. Get a good look at these. Let's not get my HQ too far forwards though. I am going to want to get my mortars to engage the riflemen. Could also bring in an artillery barrage. We did spend our event on getting the extra artillery, so I might as well use it. And this will help clean out these riflemen. Should have enough points to bring up some supplies, so we're going to do that. Now we have a radio intercept report, so we're going to attack with one to three platoons involved. Okay, so that means potentially like one to three sets of units. And the only thing with not having any infantry at the moment is it is going to make it slower to attack or capture these sectors. That artillery did a good job. 
in my BR DMs ahead again. That supply. I'm going to give them a fast move order. What this will do is they'll never like any cover that would slow them down is in the way. They'll go in between it or around it. I believe it also works for um, or like fortifications. Being fired up there. Oh, there's also an HGM. No, run. <laughs> run away. Oh, there's this gem. No. Did they just kill that? No, they didn't. Okay, that's lucky. Very lucky. I'm just going to have full back all this stuff. Zone captured. Pretty bad. Can't see that at all. Where was it coming from? It was like here somewhere, I think. Put an artillery on it. Gonna get my guys resupplied. Fixed up. Maybe what we could do is like drive up here and then attack from this direction. Like coming in from the right direction is super important in this game, like attacking from different directions and so on. Since we didn't lose any like of the vehicles entirely, we can actually fix them. But if you do lose a vehicle, they're dead for good. And then that takes it out of your total pool of vehicles that you have available. Welcome. Right, we're gonna just charge forwards here. I need to find and kill that. And we'll have the mortar. Provide support onto the infantry. It's got like radar telling us the rough direction of an enemy unit or is that the direction we're facing? I'm trying to work this out. Oh, this may have been a bad idea. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, we're too far. <laughs> Zone lost. Oh, it's because it's BMPs. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, retreat guys. <laughs> Get out. Get out. <laughs> that was not a good idea. <laughs> that was not a good idea. These need to retreat as well. We do get a little bit of smoke. I might just bring down smoke here quickly so that we stop getting Ata gemmed in the face. Oh, we don't want to lose our command either. Crikey. That was really bad. I had to retreat on my units so I didn't so I avoided losing them. I did lose one of my T72s, but we get them back in 20 seconds. Oh, we're being flanked as well. Our uh, units on the left. Really not good. Okay, well, let's uh do a runner. I'm going to bring in my MO24Ps in the meantime. If that's just tanks on their own, we should be able to kill them. The other thing about retreating your forces before they die is it allows you to maintain veterancy, which is really important. Ah, they do have AA. Okay, well that's not good because we're probably going to use these. Oh, oh, oh. Right, run away, boys. <laughs> Damn. They yeah, had everything. Okay, uh, well, what we're going to want to do then is just get my second unit of T-72s back up, I guess. Once the MI-24s have retreated, we'll get the points back. This is tough, though, because we don't really have any combat troops here. We've just got like mortars, shulkers. I mean the shulker seems pretty pointless so far. We haven't bumped into any helicopters. I might just get rid of it. 
Since we're resupplied, I might take away the supply truck as well. I'm going to get the BRDM back in because being blind is not good. Zone lost. Hopefully my T-72s can deal with the AA here. I haven't really got anywhere so far. We only have seven minutes remaining. Thankfully our allies have held out relatively well. But we're really going to want to make, make a move here. There's reinforcements coming in behind. Cause me problems. Let's get my HQ over here. These are enemy T-55s and they are really high veterancy. Okay, well we killed another one. They're gonna charge. Another unit coming in though, which is AA. Oh, these are both AA, that's fine. Alright, let's bring in some infantry. Because I think that's what we're kind of missing out on here. And I could probably leave some infantry to hold this objective. Good. We're off to a pretty rough start, but we haven't lost too many forces, and that's good. I have just taken out all of those enemy forces, but here comes the BMP again doing tons of damage. Five minutes remaining. Might just napalm this. We can put some heavy artillery on this. The BRDM is not really doing a good job of seeing the enemy units, but hopefully this will burn up the enemies a little bit. Zone captured. The napalm actually missed entirely, which is unfortunate. It's gems. They are really, really harmful. Like, <laughs> oh, there goes another T seventy two. Thankfully we can replace them with our operational authority. Yeah, it looks like the artillery has helped us out there, so we can probably clear them out now. Zone captured. Our allies here are actually running out of ammo, so we'll bring in supply and we'll move it up to Lata back west and east, because I think this is going to be the last kind of fortification between us and them. Maybe set up my BTR rifleman here. Defensively. I might actually retreat these T 72s so they can get fixed up and sorted out. Move the supply over here. Now vehicles don't really have like an on-road or off-road speed, they generally move at the same speed. 
The only difference is like the terrain really it's like roads they can move normal speed off-road they can move normal speed but if they go through like towns or through forest areas then they slow down but if you use the fast move command they'll like avoid going through the forest and they'll avoid going Zone through the buildings captured. they'll actually use the road in the town which is cool right, two minutes and 30 seconds left we have managed to break through to our allies here which is good so it looks like we've kind of got the job done for the time being let me move up my HQ unit if we can get all of these like buffed up that'd be great move the Sarnies over there as well the other thing I could maybe do is like try and uh move up on to Grove because the more we capture the more operational authority we get and then we can use that to unlock more units and get more points that we can spend on our units in the, our phase so I'm gonna get these guys loaded up and we'll go and attack over here might be a little bit futile trying to do that without any support Keep an eye on it. Let me just uh, get them unloaded before we go over the ridge. Just bumped into the artillery. These are Gvozdikas. Okay. Over here, the BMP ones are struggling. But they're actually killing these. 55 is quite well, it's just the Malyutkas. Hated gems are just so scary to deal with. I'm gonna make sure we hit these gems first. I was gonna put down an airstrike here, but I just realized <laughs> there's two shulkers literally right there. That would have been a terrible idea. We've got 29 seconds. I might just go for this. So I've loaded up my infantry so we move faster. We can get into the sector. I'll load them close. As you can see, the game is quite challenging. I will bring in some heavy artillery onto these guys. It's going to be a hard engagement, but there we go. That's uh, the phase actually done. Nice. And most of the kills are green or blue, which is good. They did kill some of the BMPs there towards the end, but otherwise we lost 24 and they lost 88. So I'd say that's a good trade. Very good. So phase one concluded, and we move on to the next phase. So we need to defend again, because that's how we get the extra 50 victory points, is by holding on to those two objectives for another 20 or so minutes. Uh, but I'm going to leave it here for today. Um, hopefully this was a nice introduction to regiments and the sort of gameplay you can expect going in. I will, of course, be completing the operation moving forwards and we'll move on to other operations and try them out as well. Um, in the next episode I'll spend my operational authority and we'll go again. If you have enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe of course, like the video it definitely helps out a lot. That's it for now, hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,